Hey everybody, God bless you. Hope you're having a blessed day today. So today we have uh, another rapture dream and this is from Tony Tiger 236 is his uh, channel name. That's what we're watching from. And his, uh, the name of his video is, this is a warning rapture dream. Are you ready? This is a warning that we have seen so many times before that uh, Jesus is giving out so many rapture dreams and we need to be paying attention and we need to stay ready to go. So let's watch his rapture dream and see what he uh, has experienced. Good morning, everyone. And I just woke up and I got woken up from a rapture dream. It was one of the hardest things to see and also waking up with that kind of feeling that God had showed me in a dream. We were with a whole bunch of people, friends and family, all around each other at a house, <clears throat> just having like a bonfire. And it was getting late and some people were outside, some people were inside. I remember that I was walking outside for a little bit. I was just walking around seeing different things just happening left and right. And then I see, and then I heard the trumpet sound. And then I seen people leave. And I seen their bodies leave. And their bodies would drop to the ground. And I would hear kids screaming. I would hear friends and family screaming. And all fear, and they were afraid of what was happening, that their loved ones were going. I heard little kids screaming and crying because their grandma, grandpa, or mom or dad, or sister or brother, you know, their bodies just lying there, like folded up, almost like clothes. But yet it was the spirit that went up. I want you guys to understand that Jesus is coming back. I need you guys to understand that you, we need to repent from our sins and ourselves. Just as the Bible speaks, if you're drunk 24-7, you're not making it. If you are all about sexual sin, you're not going to make it. There's so Yes, he is very uh, accurate about this because if you are living in any kind of sin, like... If you're living in willful disobedience to God, like you're not going to go in the rapture. And this is very important because I think there could, I think that there are a lot of people that are waiting for the rapture and for Jesus, but they're not making themselves ready. They're not preparing. Like you literally need to be like making sure that you are walking with Jesus and you are not just blatantly like disobeying him. Like he told you that you cannot be sleeping around you cannot be fornicating in adultery, you know, like um, living a lifestyle of stealing. Like if the job you're doing is stealing, like you're, you're not going to go in the rap, like anything. OK, like if you are, you know, lusting and watching stuff on your computer when Jesus comes, if you're at a party, if you're getting drunk, like G Jesus said that if you are living in the world. OK, and like just sinning and doing these sins with the rest of the world, you are not ready and you are not going to go. And there's going to be people who are going to get in trouble for this as well, because he said in Matthew, I believe, it's chapter 25, that there's going to like he said, there's chapter four, chapter 25. But if you say that Jesus isn't coming soon and then you start to go get drunk and like do all these worldly things again, right? He says, I'm going to come in a time that you are not expecting, and I'm going to appoint you with the hypocrites and the unbelievers. So you are going to be appointed with the hypocrites and with the unbelievers. Like, it doesn't matter that you believe in Jesus. Like, if you are not following and obeying what he's telling you to do, and you're just deliberately living 
a lifestyle of sin, you know, against God, like he literally died for you to get rid of those sins, you know, and to free you from them, not to be stuck in them, you know, and just to keep doing them. Like you don't want to be caught living in sin when Jesus comes because then you're not going to make it in the rapture. Like Jesus said, pray always that you will be accounted worthy to escape. And to be worthy, you have to make sure that you're keeping your garment spotless. You know, that's what it means, like to keep your garment spotless. Like if you do a sin, repent right away, confess that sin, and then keep going. So many people, Christian people that I knew personally that were still here when the rapture had happened. Mm -hmm. And to know that we'll be all stuck in the seven year tribulation from that. The stores were empty. There was food, but there was it was empty of people. Like the, the, there was cars crashed everywhere. The, the the stuff is real. So in his dream, where he talks about the bodies being on the floor and the spirit was raptured, whenever people have rapture dreams, they're not always going to be literal. You're not going to literally see bodies on the floor. Like people who are raptured, their clothes are going to be on the floor, but their bodies are not. And sometimes it can be hard to interpret a dream. You know, we have to ask God, like, what does this mean exactly? Because, like, it's not literal all the time, you know? So people are confused, like, I don't know about that. You know, this dream he's saying, that, like, you know, the bodies are on the floor. Like, you know, that's not scriptural. And then, like, or, or, you know, like, people getting onto a bus, getting ready to leave for the rapture. Like, where's that in the Bible, you know? It's just like God has always given us parables. He's given us typologies. He's given us stuff that is, you know, he's trying to tell us something. And he tells us in very many different ways. And so I don't exactly know. I would think that the bodies being on the floor that seem like they're dead, um, it could just represent the dead in Christ rising because the dead in Christ are going to rise, you know, like the graves are going to be opened up. And that's probably going to be pretty scary. Um but, uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, the rapture is real. It is really coming, and we have to make sure that we are staying prepared. It's going to happen soon. Repent and come back to Jesus. Go ahead and ask him into your heart, because it is time. Uh, that was the end of his video. So that was like, how long? Oh, it was like three minutes. <laughs> I thought it was going to be longer than that. But, uh, yeah, so it looks like this was, uh, he must have posted this on TikTok and also to his channel. But, uh, don't forget to check out Tony Tiger 236 That's his channel name. And it's in the description box. You can go and subscribe to Tony. And, um... Yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this uh, this rapture dream and this video. Let me know how you guys are doing and that you guys are staying encouraged. Let me know if these videos are encouraging you. I would love to, uh, you know, know your guys' thoughts. And if you guys have made it this far into this video, please leave in the comments. Repent now. Jesus is coming. Repent now. Jesus is coming. And uh, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Bye.